for the phase lines on bow ties antennas the bending is a little bit different I have these little posts I have to say I don't know where I got these they were in my box of stuff and uh, they're quite handy now you could use a nail the uh, galvanized nail this guy and you can cut a piece off use a hacksaw <laughs> don't try to I use these little posts because they're exactly an eighth of an inch and my holes that I drilled here they are exactly a quarter of an inch on center apart so that when I put the post in here and I put this post in I have a gap that is roughly one eighth of an inch maybe a little bit of a sloppy one eighth of an inch and I can get my copper between it with a little room this is a piece of 12 um, here's a piece of 10 no it's not it's a piece of 12 I don't have a piece of 10 anyway I have an eighth of an inch there so I can bend a 12 or I can bend a 10 piece for a phase line you need a loop in line so it's secure make a mark in your copper usually in the, the first bend is usually in the center of your copper piece your phase line will be long um, loop that down try to keep it on the mark I didn't anyway you try to see I can't see I'm behind the camera and that's that's very tight you don't need to pull it up much more you can close it up some with the pincers or the uh, end cutters then I take my other post and I set it here and holding securely here need a lot of fingers you need strong fingers you bend it and you bend it up a little bit and then you bend it back to where you have a fairly straight line there so you take out your post you flip the copper over you're going to do the other side and it's the same thing get your get a grip on it bend it up and bend it past but bring it back there so now we have a loop and a phase line and that will fit very nicely under a screw it'll sit flat and when a bow which I don't have I have a piece I have an old piece goes over it this whole rig however you do it under over it fits nice and nice and flat you get good holding power and your antenna won't fall apart and you get good connections get good electron flow and that's all that matters is that it doesn't fall apart but it makes a nice joint I'm off boy I'm way off <laughs> it helps if you can see what you're doing you can see that loop is just a little bit bent in the wrong way so you can straighten it but it's very simple first make a loop bend it over flip your copper bend it over and that makes a phase line put it on this way or put it on this way